This current challenge is called digit frequency. The difficulty level for this one is medium. In this challenge, we are going to receive a string like this, made up of characters from A to Z, that is letters of the alphabets and digits. So the digits will range from zero to nine. What we need to do is print an array for every digit is going to correspond to the digits in base 10, meaning digits from zero to nine. And that array is going to hold the counts for the digits that we find inside our string. So here we have A11 and other characters. So in our array that we need to print in this challenge, the value at index one is going to be two because we found the digit one twice inside our string. For the digit four, the value at index four inside our array is going to be one because four appears only once inside our string. The same thing applies to seven. The value at index seven is going to be one. The value at index two is also going to be one. And the same thing for five and six. So now I'm going to paste my solution here and this is how we can solve it. So here we need to handle the user inputs and also the outputs. So I'm creating this char array It's going to be an array of characters. I'm calling it str and the size is 1000. I've set it to 1000 because if you look at the constraints, the length of our string is going to be from one to 1000. And here I'm having this int array is the array that I intend to print on the console and it's called digits. So it's an array of size 10 because we only have 10 digits from zero to nine and every element inside that int array is going to be initialized to zero. Here I'm receiving user inputs for my string that I need to process. And inside this for loop, this is where I intend to keep track of the occurrences for my digits inside my array. So I'm going to loop through every character inside of my string here all the way to the last character. So I'm using the strlen function in C. And then here I'm making use of the ASCII decimal representation of every character inside my string. If you've watched my channel in the past, you will know that the characters from zero to nine have a decimal representation in ASCII between 48 and 57. So this is an inclusive range. So here I'm saying if the character at index i inside of my string is greater than or equal to 48 and less than or equal to 57, then that character corresponds to a digit from zero to nine. So what I want to do here is grab that index, the value at the index corresponding to my digits here and increase that count by one. So this logic here is the same thing as what I explained at the beginning of this challenge. If you need a refresher, I said, because we've seen one here twice inside of a string, the value at index one has to be two. For every other digits that we found inside of a string, the value has to be one because they only appear once. Once we are done processing our string, finding the digits and updating the values inside of our digits array, what we can do is go ahead and print the values inside our array. So here I'm having a loop running from zero to 10. I'm using the printf function because this is a C challenge. I can't use C out. And I'm using this format specifier here for digits and it's going to print every value inside of my digits array. So let's go ahead and run this code. We've passed all the sample test cases. So I'm just going to go ahead and submit this code. And we've passed all the 11 test cases. So that's it guys for this HackerRank challenge. I hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.